You make your money when you spend it. You've heard me say that a zillion times, but it's more than just when you buy a vehicle. It's also when you select which repairs to complete. Today, we'll talk about five repairs that can be worth five times what you pay to complete them on episode 131 of The Flipping Genius. If you buy and sell vehicles for a profit or you want to, you're in the right place. This is The Flipping Genius Podcast. Our number one goal is to help our listeners make more money. Every episode, we share information, ideas, and experiences of real life car flippers. I'm Randy Lee. I'm the host of Flipping Genius. I've flipped cars most of my life. For over a dozen years now, I've been a licensed dealer. I am working to build the best podcast about successfully flipping cars for a consistent profit. Let's get to it, flippers. All right. This should be a, a fun one. I always think the number one goal of Flipping Genius is to help you, our listeners, and our viewers make more money. If uh, if you're listening to the Flipping Genius, I want to make sure that you know it is also available on video at the Flipping Genius YouTube channel, or you can just go to FlippingGenius.com and click on the YouTube channel there and, and join. Please subscribe. If you are watching the Flipping Genius uh YouTube channel and you've not listened to the podcast, I want you to be aware that the uh, the podcast is also available. It's always been available by audio wherever you listen to podcasts. Flipping Genius, of course, is the podcast about car flipping. And what better stuff to talk about uh, car flipping than than ways that you can make money, ways that you can you can increase your bottom line. That's what we're going to talk about today. I I'm going to cover five ways that I like to do, uh, five ways that I frequently do, uh, improve my bottom line by at least uh, 500%. And uh, we'll talk about those in some detail. And I encourage you to add the list. Um, I invited you to do this on the Car Flipping Forum. And if you're not a member of the Car Flipping Forum yet, please join. If you are a member of the Car Flipping Forum and you look down my list or you listen to to the list from today's episode and you've got some other ways to do this, uh, other ways that you turn a dollar into five dollars, no matter how big they are or how small they are, uh, it's a pretty great victory when you can turn a dollar into five. So that's what made my list today. I, I limited it to five. I think if I sat here and wrote things down, I could probably come up with at least 20, maybe 50 things that I do frequently that actually turn that that 500% uh, profit margin, which is a a pretty great profit margin. But I'm I'm gonna try to do some that are fairly significant uh, and are are actually pretty fresh on my mind because I mean, frankly, I've been working on a few of these this week uh, down at the car lot here. And uh, as you know, if you've listened before, or even if you listen to the intro, um, I'm not that handy with with the mechanical things. So the things that I'm going to talk about are things that pretty much anybody can do. And and, and then I'd love to hear some things that you do uh, that maybe take a little bit more skill. Because the fact is that, that we're all f- flipping cars at different levels. And uh, your information could be valuable to a, a, a fellow flipper. So I encourage you to share. And uh, the, the more you share, I think the better you get at what you, what you do. And the better we all get at it, the better we get, the more money we can make. And that's the number one goal to help our listeners make more money. Uh, the first one is, is just clear as a bell. <laughs> it's replace a windshield. I, I, this is something that I really do believe, although it's not always worth 500% increase. I know I've got two vehicles right now that it is worth that 500% increase. A windshield, you've got a crack all the way across it or, you know, a big crack. I'm not talking about a, a, a little, uh, what do they call it, a little, a little starburst or something like that. You can live with that. But a, a crack all the way across the windshield, it really pollutes the whole car. I, I picked one up today. 
that has that exact item on it, uh, I'll be honest, it's going to cost 200 bucks for the windshield. I have somebody else install it. You may be able to do it for less if you install it yourself. That's not something I'll even attempt to do. Um, I, I don't know if it'll make me $1,000 extra on that vehicle. It, it could. It could, but I'll have to do some other things too, to it also. I think that's a vehicle I'll probably sell on the cheap to somebody um, to get them some good transportation. It's a it's an older Acura, good solid car mechanically. Um, but other vehicles that I've got, I, I, I think if you're selling a vehicle in the four or 5,000 and above range, because the, the sales price and you're buying the vehicles right, uh, a, a new windshield, can take you from four to five thousand dollars because the person that is is looking through that windshield is seeing a different car when they when they get inside that vehicle and see a new windshield. Um, I I use a, a gentleman here and been using him for years. He comes out to my place of business uh, and will put the windshield in in a matter of an hour or so and uh, doesn't interrupt my day at all and leaves with the old windshield and I. And, and 200 bucks for me, and it is well worth that investment. And oftentimes, that's a 500% increase in the uh, the bottom line uh, from the, the $200 that I paid for it. So replace your windshields. <laughs> um, some of these things are, are, are things that I'm sure you're doing already, but I know maybe I'm preaching to the choir right here at Flipping Genius because I Looking at, at, at what I've got to do currently, I, I have come to the realization that that some of these things are things I, I need to do to bump the value up on the vehicle. Um, the next one is is detailing. Um, a lot of you uh, do detailing on different levels, and oftentimes I am I'm guilty of, of not detailing a car anywhere near as, as fully as, as some of the fellow flippers I've interacted with on the car flipping forum who are pulling the carpet out and, and redoing that carpet, uh, making it look like it just came out of the factory, pulling the seats out, uh, just stripping that interior out almost completely and returning it to uh, you know, almost factory fresh. Honestly, I don't ever do that. But on a, a few vehicles that I have right now, it could be worth uh, doing that or at least doing a much better job than I generally do. So usually the cost for detailing for me is $100 to uh, $150 uh, for a, a complete interior and exterior uh, cleanup. And uh, some of the vehicles are, are, are that I have will be more than that. Um, but in order to make that 500% increase in value, we're talking about uh, what 500 to $750 more in the bottom line. And again, if you are, if you're selling a car for 1500 bucks, which I do occasionally, yeah, you probably, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get that much more out of it. Um, I don't believe. But then again, a $1,500 car can turn into a $2,000 car if it's cleaned up well. So detailing is, just again, something so smart to do, and do do it to the the best of your ability or the uh, the best of your uh, your budget uh, on that vehicle. And for a hundred to one hundred fifty bucks, I find that you can get a pretty nice job done, um, and maybe kick in a little extra if it's a if it's a bigger job. Um, right now, I have got uh, nine vehicles that that uh, I'm probably going to call my detail guy and, and just give him the whole batch and I can probably work out a discount and as most of you know uh, it's pretty hard to get cash from me so I, I won't be paying cash for those uh, maybe a cash tip but the rest of it for me will be paid uh, via barter and uh, if you want to know more about that feel free to reach out to me I, I talk about it a lot and, and I'm surprised I don't get more questions about it because it is very valuable tool in my arsenal that allows me to retain my cash and get a better bottom line uh, but that's not i'm gonna not talking about the barter end but if you want to know more about that reach out to me anytime you can send questions to me at flippingquestions at gmail.com i try to get right to those uh, i've got a 
got a bunch of different email addresses. I, I got to remember to check that because I want to apologize to a couple of you who sent me questions in the past couple of weeks, and I was uh, a day or two uh, behind answering them. I try to answer them every day, but I sometimes I, I forget to check, and I, I apologize. But I will answer you when you send me a question. And if you'd like me to address any subject in the future, please send it to me. You can also send it on the Flipping Forum. I, I'm on there every single day. And you can just, you'll see me on there. You can just click on me, send me a, a instant message or comment on anything that I've commented on. And I, I really, really, really encourage you to interact with each other because that's that's a great way to uh, to learn about the business uh, beyond what you and you know and what I know. Um, and frankly, I, I threw a car on there, a truck on there that, that uh, I wanted everybody to see. Um, it's a truck that my brother is selling up in Toledo, Ohio. Now, I'm down in uh, the Huntsville, Alabama area. It's a long way from me. Otherwise, I very well may have bought that truck from my brother to, to flip because he, he had a Toyota uh, Tundra. I say had because I wouldn't doubt by the time this comes out, it will be sold. But uh, that Toyota Tundra is a company truck, uh, well-maintained. I know that. And he put it on uh, on, on uh, Facebook Marketplace for 3000 bucks. I mean, he's up in Toledo, so it's got some rust on it. But it had a brand-new frame under it, and he'd done a lot of other work to it, good good tires under it, um, good, solid vehicle that he used for, for work. High, vehicle, high miles, but um, I've got the same vehicle right now on my lot with uh, – uh, an extra 100,000 miles on it, and I'm pretty sure that I'll get close to five for mine. So, like I said, if I was if I was in the, that neck of the woods, I probably would have grabbed it, but I knew I wasn't going to. So I went ahead and posted that on the forum, and I encourage you to do that too. If, you, if you've got something that you think it's a deal that other people would be interested in and you're not going to be interested in it, let's share them that way too. That's something we haven't uh, started doing yet. Um, and, of course, uh, I encourage you to become a member of our of our uh, car flipping sales groups, uh, just just search "flipping genius" under groups on uh, on Facebook, and you'll find all of our groups. We've got groups all around the country for you to sell your vehicles, and then of course we've got the car flipping forum, which uh, has close to seven hundred members in it now, all of who are active in the car flipping business and can share information and ideas. And uh, anyway excited about that and, and what it can can do for all of us um when we get back i'm gonna take a little break when we get back i'm going to talk about three more things that can hopefully increase your bottom line by 500 percent or more of what they cost when you do them come right back after this brief message hey thanks for listening and I want you to consider becoming a Flipping Team member. And when you do, we will share with you a startup kit that is valued at $250 or more. And each month, you'll get our Flipping Team member success pack, which is also designed to help you make more money. Each and every month, you'll get more bonus material and other information because you're a Flipping Team member. Go to FlippingGenius.com and click on the flipping team member button to learn more. Let's go to number three on our list of five. And uh, I'm going to jump ahead a little bit and talk about something that it, today, as I record this, it is August 9th, 2022. Um, good idea to know what date it is, Randy. Uh, and, uh, Although we're having a fairly mild August here in Alabama, it is still August in Alabama. And I, I think the first thing that comes to mind when you're selling a vehicle in August in Alabama or August, probably in Maine, <laughs> is air conditioning. Um, if you're going to get top dollar for your vehicle, you got to have air conditioning. And air conditioning can be can be a fairly inexpensive repair uh i've got a vehicle right now <laughs> the uh somebody reached out to me and said does does that have cold air conditioning well this is one of my low budget uh vehicles and i i had to go check because i, I couldn't remember if it did or didn't and uh i wrote her back and said no it doesn't appear to 
they have uh, cold air conditioning. And she said, well, I already got one of those. Um, and I think that's going to be the response. So I checked it out some more. And that vehicle is going to need just a, uh, a, a charge on it. The air conditioning unit is working. It's trying to blow a little cold air out. So a charge, the air conditioning charge is something I can actually do myself. I may not do it perfectly right, but I know how to add some uh, Freon. And I've even picked up Freon, you guessed it. Uh, I, I bought a bunch of cans of it at a, at a barter fair. So I bought a bunch of it without cash outlay. But even if you have to pay cash for it, you're talking about a pretty inexpensive uh, repair. And if you have to pay somebody else to do it, like I, I often do, um, you're probably still looking at, at what, uh, 50 to $200 to have it done. Now, if you have to replace uh, the whole system, if you've got to put a, a, a new uh, compressor in there, it can get very expensive. It can go uh, you know, 2,500 bucks. It could go, it go 250 to to a thousand dollars or more uh, if you get it, get it repaired. But even then, even then it could be worth it. But, but I, I would say, I would say that, that, in, in almost any vehicle I have, having working air conditioning and the cost that, it's, that, that it takes to get it working is worth over 500% of what I spend on it. Especially if I've replaced the windshield, I've detailed the car and now got cold air conditioning. I've changed that vehicle dramatically from something that frankly probably looked like a piece of junk to pretty nice looking car that keeps you cold and you're seeing out a nice clean window and we turn what might be I'm thinking of a couple I have right now uh, a $1,200 vehicle into $2,200 vehicle and and uh, you know obviously these are at the bottom of the barrel but if you're talking about a, um, a $4,000, $5,000, $10,000, $15,000 vehicle absolutely cold air conditioning is vital and and if you're listening to this and it's november and you're in minnesota um obviously heat is essential too so make sure you get that that working too but right now fresh in my mind air conditioning is key absolutely 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 get it fixed um if you're not fixing the air conditioning and i i got one i won't fix that and sometimes you're not going to um, I've got one. It's an old van. It's got some dents in it, but everything runs on it. And somebody could throw a, a, a bunch of uh, carpet in the back or, or, or tile or paint or whatever they want to do out of that thing and run it down the road. And uh, they probably aren't going to care if the air conditioning is working as long as it got the windows down. Um, and it's, it's just not that one's not worth fixing anything on it. Windshield, anything. Just barely worth a car wash. And you get those every now and then. If I can, if I can get a little better to break even on, on something like that, I'm happy. Um, and I, sometimes I'll take something like that in on trade and try to turn around and make a little profit on it. But there's very little that you'll do to that vehicle that's going to be a 500% profit. But on most vehicles, most vehicles, air conditioning, air conditioning is going to be well worth the money you invest. Um, Again, if you've got things to add to this, you've got any input, uh, feel free to write me or better yet comment uh, on uh, on the, the car flipping forum because that's the greatest place for us to learn. Um, the next one is something I, I've talked about before and I, man, I love, I love, love, love this kind of stuff. I've been doing it, it seems like all my life. Ever since I had a vehicle to drive, I've been doing simple paint repairs and, and simple uh, simple cosmetic repairs that make a vehicle look so much better and it's something that any dummy, including me, can do. Now, uh, one of the easiest ones is replacing the hubcaps. If you've got a vehicle that needs hubcaps, we talked about that last week, I think. I don't mean to be redundant, but the fact is hubcaps, you can buy them for probably – anywhere from 25 to to 100 dollars, depending on, on what set of hubcaps you need um those are brand new and and we're we're working on some deals right now um that we'll uh we'll have some some hubcaps at discounts um that we're we're trying to get a wholesale deal on them so we can we can offer them through our our uh, resources group we're looking for some other things too so check our resources group 
uh, not right today. I don't have them there yet, but by the time you listen to this, especially if you're listening to it down the road, uh, absolutely check our resources page at flippinggenius.com. You'll find some things there that will save you money and maybe some things you haven't seen before that, that can make your vehicle stand out a little bit. I've discovered a few sources that I'm pretty excited about because they're going to make me uh, help me make my vehicle stand out. And that's one of the things. Uh, hubcaps, um, floor mats is another one. Um, but simple touch-up paint. I, I love a $10 can of paint can make you <laughs> a lot of money. I, I know that's crazy, but all we have to do is, is make $50 and it's five times the, the value. So I know that one's something that, that I absolutely, by, by using a little bit of common sense and a, a less than usually less than $10 can of paint, I can, I can make a big difference in a vehicle, especially on the, uh, the, the flat black trim around the windshield wipers, around the, the fender wells, uh, possibly on the, the bumpers, um, any place else, the door handles, any place that, that, that flat black makes it look almost like new. Um, you've probably heard me talk about silver paint that I've picked up before. I picked up uh, about a case of, of silver paint that, that was to match either a Honda or a GM car. And I found it almost exactly the same. Now, if you're selling a $7,500 Honda, you want an exact match. If you're selling a $2,500 Honda and you've got some scratches on the, uh, the bumpers, uh, the almost match can work pretty well. Uh, <laughs> it's just, I'm just being straightforward. That's, that's what I do. Um, and, and if you want to get that exact match and you want to splurge, uh, go, go to, uh, O'Reilly's and for, I don't know, I think it's, maybe it is about 10 bucks, maybe 12 bucks a can. They'll, they'll go by your VIN and mix up exactly the paint color that you need. It'll be an exact match. Uh, I love that. You know, you, you got to run down there and get it. You might get a couple cans and, uh, take your time and you can make, you can make a, a lot of, of, uh, cosmetic problems go away with, with, uh, 12 25 dollars worth of paint um harbor freight will sell you a a uh, a heat gun for 17 dollars, or you may already have one um you could spend a little bit more on a better one i <laughs> i use a 17 dollar one and i think i've had two of them over the last 13 or 14 years one of them broke i got a new one now and and uh it'll, i expect it'll last it'll work until it doesn't um and, and it's all I need for my use. And, and what I, why I bring that up is, is along these same lines, you've seen the uh, little dimple uh, damage to a uh, plastic bumper. Um, I've got one right now uh, on a Toyota and it, it, I know I'll, I'll be able to pop that thing out. You just heat up the, uh, the dimple there um, with the heat gun. And once it gets a little soft, you reach behind the bumper and you just push it out with your hand and that thing's going to look almost like brand new. Um, careful not to get it too hot because you, you may get the, the paint to uh, crack a little bit. If you do that, you're going to do a little touch up work. Um, but I guarantee you, you can make it look better than it does right now. And these kind of things make the car more desirable. It's, it's hard to say, uh, it, it's hard to have hard to, uh, it's not like somebody said, I was here yesterday and I didn't want to give you $2,500 for the car, but now that you've done this, I'll give you $3,000. But when you do it, you'll see that that happens. It may not be the exact same person, but somebody's going to come along and give you more uh, for that. So we're talking about an increase uh, to your, your bottom line of uh, 250 bucks or more. It, that's pretty easy to, to do with just some simple cosmetic repairs upgrades with your hubcaps upgrades with your floor mats um cosmetic paint repairs cosmetic uh heat gun repairs to your to your uh um your uh your bumpers oh and and molding and and you can i i think we've we've i've posted some videos on this too but i, I probably haven't done them as well as some other people do um uh search that on, on youtube look for look for uh heat gun bumper repair just put that in there you'll see somebody do a nice job of, of illustrating how to do it um or uh or, 
or another one is is uh, to revive plastics. You'll see that how you use the heat gun. Sometimes the plastic uh, trim on the, the vehicle will become very dull after years, and that heat gun, uh, sometimes just a hair dryer actually, can revive the the gloss on that plastic. I don't know. It's some kind of chemical uh, thing that occurs. Pretty cool, and it's it's relatively easy to do. Um, I, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I do recommend you take a look at, at YouTube and uh, you can look at our, our YouTube page. I know that I, I did a video on this. Uh, look for the Flipping Genius YouTube channel and you'll see what I've done. But take a look at some other folks who have done an even better job because I know they're there. Um, I, don't, I, I probably should just say only be with us, but obviously I don't know how to do everything. I just know how to talk about doing it. <laughs> And, uh, but I do it too. I mean, I, I definitely have a couple that, that I'll be doing. Um, and along those lines, uh, I've got one more thing that uh, I'm going to share with you. Absolutely 500% increase in value. Another thing that I know that you're going to want to do too. I'm going to take another little break. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab a little Kickaboo Joy Juice. I'll be right back and share your number five, number five with you. See you. Um, this one's a is a simple one, and it makes so much difference. I, I love that uh, we had this done on, on on Terry, my wife's car, and my car, and I love it. It, it made our old our old uh, Suzuki's look almost new again. Uh, pretty fun uh, thing, and I, and I again I've got a, a gentleman that does it inside my barter network, so. I was able to do it with no cash out of pocket, which, as you know, I love that. Um, and that is headlight reconditioning. Headlight reconditioning is so valuable. And, and when you're dealing with vehicles like I do in, in the 200,000 mile range, most of them have uh, headlights that, that are very foggy, yellowed, uh, discolored. And if they're not, then you can pretty much bet the cars either had a, a reconditioning or it's been an accident, they've replaced the, the, the headlight. Now you can you can buy new headlight housings, but those tend to be pretty expensive. Um, headlight housings can be reconditioned for usually anywhere from 75 to, to uh, $150 uh, typically for a set. And uh, my guy charges 150, but he does it on or it might be one 125 but he does it on barter for me which because of my involvement on other businesses my barter dollar costs a lot less than my cash dollar that's why i like doing business with barter um so i'm able to save cash and save my cash flow and get it done uh, but it doesn't matter if you you know i keep telling you about this but i, I know very few of you will take my advice and i love that i love that because it makes me more competitive than you <laughs> I uh, just honest truth. Uh, if everybody, uh, everybody got on that train, I would probably be mad at myself for telling everybody about it because it gives me a competitive advantage without a doubt over over just about every car dealer and car flipper that I know in my general area. Because I know of, I think three who 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 do what I do on that. And uh, there's a a lot of people that, that fall into that category here and, and only about three that actually are using barter as part of their methodology and um, that's that's fine I'm still telling you because uh, I know you're in San Diego California and and uh, maybe in over in uh, uh, Chile and, and and down in Florida and you're you're all over the place uh, so I, I I'm happy to help you guys make money and even give you all my my best ideas, and this is one of my best ideas. Um, the headlight reconditioning is, is is a great idea, but I'm talking about just the barter side of it, which I know I've mentioned it a couple times today, but I get pretty fired up about about the idea of, of saving money and then making money. Um, so you, you're going to invest seventy five to one hundred fifty bucks uh, if you pay somebody else to recondition uh, a set of headlights. You can do it yourself. Uh, you can uh, buy a lot of over-the-counter products uh, from parts stores, from Walmart, from 
a lot of places and sometimes those work pretty well but i find i've found that that it it takes some time uh and i'd rather use my time doing something else especially since i have somebody that can do it on barter um and if i can get it done for 75 to 100 bucks absolutely uh it is going to make that big of a difference in the in the uh, appearance of a vehicle uh, particularly if if i'm dealing with a four thousand dollar and above vehicle I, I will leave some headlights alone on some things uh um a lot of things honestly uh, you know I'll, I'll, a lot of them i'll bring them bring them in and try to clean them up with i'll even use toothpaste toothpaste has been one of the better better tools that i've used uh, even better than some of the 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 products that are designed especially for that um but most of the time now i'm 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 trying to sell vehicles in a little bit higher range and and i think uh, uh revived headlights headlights can turn a car that i'm going to sell for thirty five hundred dollars into a car that i sell for maybe four thousand which is you know about a 500 percent increase and if i'm if i'm in that five or six thousand dollar range absolutely i want this thing really really looking uh, great and 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 between you know windshield replacement detailing headlights uh the paint repairs that is going to give it the look that i need to get the um consideration to give me top dollar for the vehicle top dollar for me though is still a great deal. I give people great deals because I buy the vehicles right. And when they get in there and they start that baby up and it's been checked out by Dennis Johnson, my friends at Dennis Johnson Auto Repair, thought I wouldn't mention them, but they didn't. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I know the thing is solid and I can even give them a report showing that they've checked it out and these this stuff's been repaired. Here's some other things maybe that you may need to repair down the road because I, I don't always fix everything, but I tell you what, what it is. And they turn that air conditioning on and it burns it sends that nice cold ac at them and they're looking around that nice clean dash and that, that beautiful interior that's been detailed and looks beautiful and it smells nice and they're looking out that nice clean windshield and they yeah they just can't help but give me the money right <laughs> i it's 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 really true i i think if you do these things um you're going to see the money come back to you um, not every vehicle will need all of these things done to them, but if you're in my price range, a lot of them do. And those are the things that I know I do almost all the time. And that's where I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop at those five because I don't want to, I don't want to give every answer I have in the world away at, at one time because you'll never turn this on again. Right. Uh, I have no doubt you will. And I thank you so much for, for, for tuning into flipping genius. I hope that, that, uh, what you're learning here uh, in, in episode 131 and every other episode is helping you build your, your car flipping business. No matter what level you're at, uh, my goal is to help you make more money and to do it the right way. If you've got questions, uh, if you've got comments, if you have recommendations, uh, suggestions, if there's something you'd lurk, like to learn more about and we can help you with it um, or somebody that you'd like to to have a conversation, have me have a conversation with, um, just reach out to me, flippingquestions at gmail.com or, you know, through the forum and I'll be delighted to get your information and be absolutely delighted to share whatever I can. I, I really appreciate all the folks who listen to the podcast uh, flipping genius is the number one car flipping podcast on the the the, the podcast networks and the uh, and our, our facebook uh our our, um, our forum is growing to be a, a substantial number and and the folks there are active and our youtube channel is growing and i i ask you to join to, to go to the youtube channel and please subscribe it's very important that we get those numbers up on the, the YouTube uh, channel. We don't do a ton of videos, but when we do do a video, you'll see it. You'll, you'll, you'll see it when you go to YouTube. And I don't want you to miss anything that we do. We're, we're trying to bring you as much information as possible. Um, for the past, I don't know, 20, 30, 40, a lot of episodes have been done in video as well as audio. 
So that's one thing, but we're also doing uh, micro videos and, and smaller short videos, uh, sometimes just for fun, other times for information. And usually we'll post those on the forum too, but please share us with your friends. Come back often. If you can give me a five-star review, please do it. And uh, if you've got suggestions, I'll be happy to listen to them. Hey, I think that's what I wanted to share today. So, hey, let's work together. Let's make some money. Let's all become flipping geniuses.